Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be going over my storage unit and how I got it organized and some of the equipment I got in here that y'all haven't seen yet. So let's get right into it. Starting here with the shelves, got the old Red Max on there, the paddle broom, which I don't think y'all seen before. Good little attachment there. Got the shredding back. Ready to rock and roll with the bag for it. Got the three saws that'll be in a video soon or before this one. I don't know which order they're gonna come out in. Um, got the little handheld blower here and some old school like sprayer attachment for a blower that they don't even make anymore. Um, I picked these, they're the same thing. I picked these up from the dealer. They're wanting like 20 bucks each for them because they've been sitting in the inventory so long. So I just kind of picked them up almost basically as collectibles. I was gonna see if this would fit on this one. Not sure it would, but I don't know. It's worth a shot. Um, and I'll probably like sell the other one as a collectible for somebody who wants it. Um, so. Thought that was neat. I was gonna try it out. I got two of them. Put that back up there. Uh oh. It's getting caught on something. Whoops. Sorry about that. Um, got some red armor fuel here. Um, this is what I run in my chainsaws because I don't hardly use my chainsaws much. So, um, well, not as often as everything else. So. This stuff is really good and it lasts a long time. Supposedly it lasts two years open and five years, you know, sealed. So that's some good stuff. A lot of people swear by it. Um, then we just got some miscellaneous stuff here. This is a, a motorized bike kit from Amazon. I tinkered with when I was little from a while ago. Um, Spare parts from the trailer setup, uh, some oil picker upper stuff. Here's the trash can full of implements. You got a bed redefiner. I think Edger's in there. A tailor's in there. Hedge trimmer's in here, which that thing's a piece of crap in my opinion. It's hard to keep running. Um, and it's brand new, but it works fine when it is running. When you can keep it running got the grass catcher there this thing that i'm trying to sell i listed it for three thousand dollars let me know if anybody wants it it's used it's been used twice got it cleaned up uh, just looking for a little bit bigger machine for what i'm doing it's a power rake slash d thatcher this is all reliable. This is the push mower I started out with that I don't use anymore, but I'm basically just keeping it as a collectible. I had it turned up and it leaked oil, so now I can't keep it turned up. Um, this is the pressure washing setup. Uh, this was the old trailer I was using last year when I was pulling it behind my mowers and running out of that. Now I just kind of turn it into a pressure washing setup. Got my new pressure washer in there that I've had for the past few months. I put this gauge on it because you can adjust the pressure for it. So now I know what pressure I got it set for. Got this reel for the hose. I got this cheap little surface cleaner to start out with. So hopefully I'll be doing some pressure washing soon on the side just to, for some filler work. Um, get to that in a minute. Wheelbarrow. Kind of happy with it. Kind of not. Probably just gonna invest in one of those track powered wheelbarrows next year because I haul a lot of heavy crap with that thing and that's, I don't think it's gonna last. <laughs> so, but good wheelbarrow because you can push it and stuff. So, cool concept. Sort of works for some stuff. Now, this thing, this is a new addition. It's been a new addition for a while. It's just been in the shop more than it's been in my hands. Um, so this is an aerator I bought used 
it looked great when I got it. I got it for seven thousand dollars, has two hundred hours on it. Uh, well, I had one hundred ninety eight when I got it, and I got like two oh one on it now. Uh, I had to put like eighteen hundred bucks in it to get fixed. So overall investment in this thing is like eighty eight hundred bucks. Uh, I basically had to get the whole undercarriage done, new tines, new sprockets. Everything's new under there. A lot of money. But it was still cheaper than buying a new one. Even though I'm going to be buying two new ones this fall. So this is going to be uh, like a backup. But I'm also going to get the spreader for it in the front. So this will kind of handle the bigger properties spreading wise. Um, and then I'm getting a stinger stand on one with the big c box on it um it's like 36 inch working width and then i'm getting the smaller stinger walk behind to get into the back gates and i'm getting a little sulky for it as well and i think it's a 24 inch working width so this one will be a good backup now that's all ready to rock and roll it's not that it's a bad machine, it's just this thing I think was used rough. It had a rough, you know, 198 hours before I used it. Um, but it was like super clean when I went to look at it, so I assumed naturally it was all good. Um, but it wasn't, but you know, it was still cheaper than buying a new one, and it's a pretty decent machine now, so it's still a pretty good deal in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, cool little aerator. This is the ones I like. I always rented when I used to rent stuff. Um, when I did the aeration, so. Uh, but yeah, it'll serve me well. It's basically almost paid itself off in spring aerations this year. It's got another like four grand to go. Um, and then I'm putting another two grand in it for the spreader to be put on it um, and bought and stuff. Uh, but it's just, you know, thing you gotta do. I do really like it. It's a comfortable machine. The platform comes down, it's got folded up now, so a few more inches of storage. Um, I mean, when I rented these Rhines before, I haven't had an issue with them. It's just this one that was used and abused, so. We got a lot of rocks here in Tennessee, so. Uh, but basically the whole bearings for the tines and stuff were out like the balls were all out of it and the guy was running it that way so that wasn't good um but this thing should be ready to rock and roll now um and it's a good machine uh it's a very popular machine she's not getting the stingers because i'm still gonna keep this one probably i may i may think about selling it next spring when there's demand for them uh but I'll probably be selling it, you know, for at least $11,000. Uh, cause you know, I'm going to put a spreader on it and it's got the whole undercarriage done on it. So I'll make a little money off reselling it. If I do, if I don't get a, what I want for it, I'll just keep it as a backup. But, uh, you know, it's a good little machine. Anyway, that's basically the indoor storage. Uh, those are wheels from the Z3X and I got a spare for that boy so but yeah that's basically all I got in here um, it's I think I'll probably need to get another one for next year hopefully I got maybe a shop next year so I don't have to rent these out um, but I got plenty of space for what I'm gonna do because eventually I'm gonna put all the aerators in the uh, enclosed trailer so that won't be in here and whatnot. It'll be set up for aerations and stuff in the enclosed trailer so I'll have a little bit more space but next year I'm planning on getting a little bit more equipment for mowing, maybe. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope y'all enjoyed my mess of a storage unit. Um, and I will see y'all in the next one. Take care.